The disassembly and exchange is made according to the instruction manual. To dismantle the pump cover, remove the six cap nuts with washers. A screwdriver can be used if necessary. Remove the O-ring from the groove. Remove the screw and adapter guard. When removing the impeller by loosening the impeller screw, use a screwdriver to prevent the pump shaft turning. The impeller can now be taken off the pump shaft. The intermediate casing can be removed by using a screwdriver in the gap between the stages. The guide vane section can be removed by inserting a screwdriver in the slot. Take off the O-ring. Take off the next impeller. Remove the O-ring from the groove. The final stage can be dismantled by gently knocking on the outlet stub on the pump casing using a plastic mallet. Remove the O-ring from the back plate. It's now possible to remove the final impeller together with the rotating part of the shaft seal. Pull off the rotating part including the space ring and the quad ring. The rotating seal ring can now be dismantled completely. To service the stationary seal ring you have to dismantle the back plate by removing the two nuts and washers. Remove the back plate carefully. The stationary part including the O-ring can now be taken out. The disassembly is finished. We can now exchange the shaft seal. Note that all O-rings should be greased before fitting. Place the O-ring in the back plate. Make sure that the pin in the back plate enters the slot in the stationary part when pressing in. Reposition the back plate using the nuts and washers. Tighten the nuts firmly. Replace the O-rings in the impellers. All O-rings should be greased before fitting. Be careful when assembling the rotating parts. Ensure that the two drive pins enter the notches in the rotating seal ring. 
Place the quad ring in the rotating part and mount it on the impeller hub. Place the spacer ring in the rotating part. It's very important that the seal face is cleaned, for example, with alcohol or it's sprayed with contact cleaner. Fit the impeller on the pump shaft. Fit the O-ring in the groove. Remember, it is important to lubricate the O-rings with silicone oil at all stages. Fit the pump casing on the back plate. Fit the O-ring in the groove. Fit the next impeller. Fit the O-ring in the groove in the intermediate casing. Fit the guide vane section. Fit this complete stage on the pump casing. Fit the O-ring and the final impeller. Hold the pump shaft still when tightening the screw. Position the adapter guard and fix it with the screw. Mount the pump cover and fasten it with nuts and washers. This section shows the conversion from a single to a flushed shaft seal. This shows the mounting of the lip seal in the flushed seal housing. Fit the o-ring in the groove and lubricate with silicone oil. Mount the seal housing on the back plate and tighten the two screws. Fit the O-ring in the groove of the shaft sleeve and fit it on the shaft. Ensure that the notch in the sleeve fits over the pin located on the shaft. Fit the complete back plate with the two nuts and washers. For a tight seal, use Teflon tape. Fit the flushing tubes to the seal housing.
Tighten the tubes with a spanner. We have now changed the shaft seal and the pump can be put back into the production line.